What is the spirit of aviation? Perhaps nothing sums up the EAA motto better than 2014 Air Ventures One Week Wonder. In order to attract a lot of tension and get people maybe thinking about this crazy idea of building their own aircraft, we decided what better way to promote this than to build an aircraft in the seven days of the fly-in. So, if all goes well, we started with a standard kit at the beginning of the week and we'll have a taxiing aircraft at the end of the week. That's right, EAA Air Venture 2014 visitors got a rare opportunity not only to watch a plane being built from crate to first taxi in just one week, but they could even help build the plane. Even if you've never popped a rivet before, your assistance was greatly welcomed. We invite folks to come out, pull a practice rivet, and then come out back here and pull a real rivet and be part of it. Sign your name on, on the airplane. That's it. <laughs> it's wonderful to see all the enthusiasm out here, and it's really infectious. It's not us motivating others, it's the other way around. It's first time builders coming out here, they're seeing this, they want to be part of it, and they're really motivating us so that, you know, at five o'clock, six o'clock, even though we've been here for 10 hours, we're all gung-ho because uh, all, this, all this enthusiasm, all this energy right here, it's a lot of fun. You may be wondering, what are they building? The aircraft that we've chosen to build this week is a Zenith 750 Cruiser. It's the latest kit offered by Zenith Aircraft, the long established kit company. One of the cool things about amateur built aircraft is we can incorporate the absolute latest technology even between the time we decided to do this project and today, Dynon came out with their touch screen panel that we're using in this aircraft. Not only does the plane have some great advantages from the technological perspective, there's even a bit of history with this aircraft. This project was kind of inspired by one that occurred here in Oshkosh in 1976. That year the show actually ran for nine days and they built an aircraft within that nine day period. It was done by Chris Heinz, who is the designer of the aircraft that we're building this year. In this week, the feeling is lots of people are interested in helping. And that is wonderful. And that's something which is really necessary, especially for young ones. Otherwise, night aviation will be just gone in a few years. The overall goal of the project may seem like is to have a finished and flying aircraft and that would not be the goal of this project. The goal of this project is to get everybody to realize that building their own aircraft is within their reach in many ways. As far as the difficulty is not that difficult, it's very affordable. So my goal is, is that everybody who walks through the front gate of Oshkosh this year will maybe add building an aircraft to their bucket list. So the time is ticking, and these guys are under so much pressure. Now, of course, we're all working towards a very special moment on Sunday, when effectively, this aeroplane is going to be born. We're bringing children, three-year-olds, five-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and they are going to pull a rivet, and they are pulling a rivet, and they are becoming builders at this age. Their name is in the builder's log. Their whole lives will be changed. The parents, they're looking at their children, and they're thinking, wow, I never thought about engineering. I never thought about flying. I never thought about building a plane. And we're seeing an amazing transformation. On the last day of Air Venture 2014, between threats of rain, the Zenith CH750 cruiser rolled onto the tarmac and taxied for the first time. Two days after the convention ended, this group project took to the air for its first flight. With Jeff Skiles behind the controls, the plane took off, made one circuit around the pattern, and landed safely.
thousands of people lent a hand during Air Venture 2014 and made the one-week wonder a success. 